I require Madam Amre to welcome all the dignitaries with the plant. for me at least personally because I want to just narrate one story of about my father. My father died in March 2007. That means almost uh, around 17 years back and he was put on ventilator twice and when he was almost third time to go on ventilator 
I thought that uh, you know it is unlikely to be of any benefit to him. But as a doctor, it was difficult for me as a doctor also. But I had to take some decision about him. So I called my brother. He uh, is here also today. Call up and my sister. And I explained to them that this is the like uh, we are doing an utility the treatment. He is just going to be in ICU. We won't be able to see him much. It's better be taken home and be amongst us all. So finally, both of them agreed, and of course, all other members. Bhai also is here. Then we decided to bring him, and I felt that was the best decision I could have taken any time because he really enjoyed those three days. Three days he survived at home. But there was a music. That is something. Nightly singing. Some kind of outdoor is Bapa is something. So the nightly singing was going on behind. He was there. We just put him on oxygen. And all grandchildren playing around him, all my sisters and all my friends, all colleagues, his brother, his all whole family was around. And finally, he breathed his last in my arms. I felt that uh, some grief is there, but his peaceful exit was very important. And I think over a period of now the next 17 years, I think now Supreme Court has given us some guidelines. I am very thankful to Honorable Justice Our Sulak Sir. So when we approached him, I got a gallery of him personally, and he gave us almost one and half hour. And Dr. Amol, who is our the mentor of our domain expert for this uh, uh, end of life care, he said that yes, we should go ahead and do it this. And then on uh, 16th of February, we started our first meeting. We called all the stakeholders. Then we had multiple meetings. We called doctors. We called uh, Mamrida, deputy collector, collector, director of health services, law department, police. Everybody was involved in this, including information and technology. And over a period of around two three months of after intense deliberation, finally, Goa has come up with this guidelines. And last meeting, which was on 28 March, everybody suggested that IMA and DSA and SA. Should bring a booklet so that it could be helpful for the people around, just to read and what is this end of life care, and how what is this advanced medical directive. We are going to do that. So, we are going to build that only for material purpose. We are going to do this. We are going to do that. 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 जब जब मका का ही हेल्प दो उसी ना सर हाउ आई शुड बी एबल टू यू नो मका कच्चा मरा नहीं हो जाए है आई कैन गिव एज अ एडवांस इज अ क्वार्ट इज कॉल्ड लिविंग विल तो टी आई जमी एक तो बुकलेट भी हमें कब्रिश करते हैं एट द हैंड्स ऑफ अवर जोस्टे सोनक सर एंड बाकी काम जिस जिस आज आना प्लस इन द एंड वी and we will demonstrate how it can be done exactly so that the people whoever is interested can do it in future. So now I request uh, our staff to release, bring the documents to the sir. Ram sir, sir, you are you are you are the most important person. Dear sir, Amol, no no come. Yes, sir, I am here.
Administer Admin Shetty sir to be on the day. Please, Lord Chief is calling you. Please, please come. Please. You want a judicial order? <laughs> Now I request sir to send an e-copy of this to the press. So I just request sir to just do that. Yeah. 
we will circulate to everyone so that everyone knows about it. And uh, his lordship has told us that we should have at least four major uh, programs with the GSLAC so that we can spread out this message that these things are, uh, you know, this is a new thing concept and people can take advantage of this. Multiple meetings in which we have finalized all these procedures. No other state has done. They have done haphazardly. Some people may have done AMD, but they don't know where to uh, deposit it, who is the custodian, how to retrieve it. So we are only, what is still to be done is a digital form. We have told our information technology department to frame something so that we can do it uh, in a digital form also. Now I request our Sunday sir to take our two. Uh, Judges, our uh, Honorable Judge Marvikin sir and uh, Jetna sir down, so he, they can witness the execution of AMD. How the execution of uh, advanced medical directives to be done? No, you have to sign. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now I request. Uh, Sanjay, uh, no, Sanjay sir to bring our uh, Dinesh sir on the days and Dr. Mehta who is a gazetted officer. So we, these are the two witnesses, Dinesh sir and Dr. Sandesh and Dr. Mehta is a gazetted officer who will sign. So this is a very simple one. Now I request Dr. Amol to kindly go through this. This is the way how it should be done. Very simple procedure is laid down by the Supreme Court and we have operationalized this end of life care. Thank you Dr. Salgar, thank you GSLSA and IBA for this honor in me. I am really privileged to be part of this effort here. Just to put into perspective, we have not released physical copies, being a green kind of a organization, we will be sending e-copies to everybody. On every copy there is a link to what was the meeting, what was the agenda, what has been finalized. Just to give a background of what is going to happen here, Dr. Nikhil Datar in February 2023, he is a renowned gynecologist in Mumbai who created his AMD and he went around all of Mumbai where to deposit it. Despite Supreme Court making the guidelines in 2023 January, he did not find a taker in the Maharashtra administration where to deposit it. So much so that in December 2023, few months back, he has made a public interest litigation in the High Court of Bombay and he has mentioned to the Chief Justice of the High Court of Bombay that sir, although the administration has put in place, the Supreme Court has given orders, but the administration has not put in place the mechanism. So when we approached Sonak sir, he told us that we will do this. And like Dr. Salgar has just told you, you will see in place a mechanism for Goa, whereby any person who is desirous of making this living will has access to a format in which he can make it. Then he has to simply write down his actual wishes in that and get it witnessed by two of his witnesses, get it attested by a gazetted officer or a notary public and then deposit it to the main mamladar of his area who will forward it to the additional collector. Can we have the next slide please? Yeah, so that is what the AMD approximately looks like and we are indeed honoured here that Sonak sir has decided that he will do this as a public event. This document can be confidential, my wishes can be confidential but sir has taken this extreme step of letting the public of Goa know that he has made the AMD to set an example to the rest of the state that indeed people should make this EMD and deposit it. And we decided that let us do it in a way that public understands how this is to be done. 
So sir has drafted his AMD in the format that is shown there and it's available to you also on that link. And he is right now going to sign that AMD and his two witnesses, Registrar Sir Dr. Uh, Mr. Dinesh Shetty and Dr. Sandesh Kaurinkar are going to be the two witnesses. So any person who is desirous can do the same thing, just write up his wishes, sign it, get it witnessed by two uh, persons who he trusts. And thereafter go to a notary public or a simple gazetted officer, government of Goa gazetted officer, who will put his stamp of authority saying that yes indeed this document has been done by a fully conscious person knowing what he is doing in the presence of two witnesses. So it is preferred that this copy is made in three different copies. One will be deposited in the repository through the main Anmuladar going to the additional collector. One remains with that person and he may want to choose it with the person that he is deciding is going to be surrogate when he is not in a state to decide. And one preferably he should give to his family physician. So here Dr. Salkar is going to be the family physician I guess for Dr. Mr. Sonal. May I request Mr. Nathan Afonso, who is the main Mamladar of Tiswadi, is representing the Mamladar of uh, Bardes here, to come forward and receive this copy of AMD from Sonak sir for safekeeping. This would be the process for any citizen of Goa. Go to your respective main Mamladar and make a deposit of this AMD copy. Thereafter, we would forward it to the additional collector. We are honoured to have Mr. Deepak Desai to receive it from Nathan sir. The same copy Mr. Nathan sir would give to Mr. Deepak Desai who would now keep it in the government repository. And in case any dispute arises or if the physician wants to know whether really such an AMD exists, he has to make a simple letter to the additional collector who will give him a certified copy. That is the purpose of making this deposit. Uh, he, uh, Sonak sir would also give one copy to Mr. Salkar, Dr. Salkar here as a family physician so that he is aware of the process. And we have enough slide. So this is a pathway in which it is happening end of life care. That means the care given at the end of life. We don't stop care when life ends. We continue care. And that's the whole point. When a person is desirous of making this simple, he executes the AMD. Yes? Yeah, so that's the AMD that he has made. He goes to a gazetted officer or a notary public with two witnesses, gets it signed and then deposits it. So, no, go back, go back, go going too fast. So, God willing, nothing is going to happen to us all, but that's not the truth, right? If we are all mortals, someday we are going to land in a state where we require hospitalization. And if you have made this AMD, it doesn't mean the doctor is not going to care for you. Every doctor is obliged to give you the best possible care and the best possible chance to get better. So that is what this lady doctor is going to try to do for you. Try her best to do the best to give you care. But we have also designed certain futility criteria. There comes a point of no return where giving care becomes futile. And there are objective criteria for this which we have established and we have also given link in that. But it is for the use of doctors only. So that doctor would first self reassess whether it is really worthwhile giving further care or is it only bringing more suffering to the person. And if he or she feels that it is futile, she would call upon two other colleagues. And that becomes what is called as the primary board defined by the Supreme Court. So that primary board has to agree with what the doctor is saying. If the primary board agrees, then there is a secondary board, which is three other doctors. So six doctors are going to make the decision whether care is futile or not. And once this is made, yes please. 
we have given them forms in which to document, which forms are also linked in that booklet that you have. And the family will be counseled that in case, you know, you have agreed, and the person has made his wishes clear, we could then withdraw life support in a staged manner. We could give him palliative care, care for his pain, care for his nutrition, and not do futile interventions like dialysis, chemotherapy, invasive ventilation, and other things. At any point, if there is disagreement between parties, then the appellate authority is the High Court. So, sir has increased the burden of work on this office. I can see his colleagues, his brothers here smiling because they might be facing cases for which we have constituted an advisory panel of doctors with 20 years experience, whom you can call upon and within 48 hours we have to make the decision whether the futility is really genuine or not. So that is the process in which this happens. So, sir is going to symbolically give one copy to his family physician, which is Dr. Shekhar Salkar. So, thank you all for indulging me again, and thanks uh, to IMA, Dr. Shekhar Salkar, for this opportunity. We have all worked very hard together, you can see. We have been making many rounds of the high court. I hope we have to make this only on a non-personal you know, personal level or professional level. And uh, wish Zonak sir a brilliant career in Bombay. Thank you sir. <laughs> sir, we will be going to Mumbai uh, from tomorrow onwards. So, he has done one more very good deed. In 2017, when Dr. Mehta was the president of the IMA, we had organ donation as a subject and we have given that time. This time is be kind to your mind. That time we said keep giving, carry on giving. That means you can give organs and let someone else live. So, when I told sir that sir, this is our, this also was our, our motto, he said he would love to donate his, uh, pledge, I want to say donate, pledge his organs once he is gone so that he can live with in the eyes and heart and liver of the others. So I just request sir to just show that uh, certificate and just ask people to whatever you want sir. Sir, one more important thing we want to do. We want to felicitate one person who was all the time behind the curtain and that is none other than Dr. Devrat Sai. All these things, what you saw that video and other things and this preparation of this, he is a silent worker behind the curtains and we are on the, if you ask, I always say, we are like Shahrukh Khan, he is the director behind. <laughs> director of Khan Prahina. Picture of Khan Shahrukh Khan, but the director is more important. So I request uh, sir to just present him with a certificate of appreciation. Judicial and Madam uh, Amri 
we is a very important that these three people have really gone out of their way to help us and create all these things. But there were a lot of other stakeholders uh, who were there in this. I also thank various stakeholders such as, you know, we had a long uh, discussions and deliberations on this. We would like to thank our collector North, Madam uh, Sneha, then uh, collector South, Mr. Ashwin, then all other supportive staff like deputy collector, collectors, mamredars and all those things for issuing the proper orders. Secretary Health, Sri Anun Mishra ji for his proactive part in key discussions and all his supportive staff including director the, uh, and uh, D, uh, superintendent, then uh, uh, under secretaries and all, we have really gone out of their way and tried to help us out in this matter. Then we have also special thanks to our Gita Kakorikar director who has helped us in having a special meeting for primary board how to, uh, how the certification has to be there of primary, secondary board and all those things and officials of information technology from North and South Goa district hospital, law department, advocates, medical professionals. There are too many uh, fellows who have been involved in this uh, very um, important subject, end of life care. I think we have sent this message very clear and loud and today we have demonstrated also how the simple process of AMD can be done. So I request all of you in case whoever is interested can do this in any problem you can contact us anytime. We will try to circulate this e-booklet to everyone as far as possible. Thank you very much and I think this is, we will conclude the function. Thank you very much. I'm